Welcome to Cyber Studies. My name is Giovanni Del Prince, and welcome to episode two of our PowerShell playlist. So today, we're gonna to do some file path traversals, and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so as mentioned in the intro, uh, today we're gonna to do some file path traversal. Um, so as you'll see here, we are currently in our local C drive, and we are gonna utilize that get child item um, that we talked about in our last video. This can be uh, LS, uh, or dirt. So anyways, we hit this out here and you will see everything that is in our local directory. Now, this is particularly useful so you know where you're at. Um, and today we're gonna work out of our shameless plug directory. <laughs> Please subscribe. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to utilize the uh, CD command uh, and we're going to go into our please subscribe folder. So again, we're gonna do that list right there, and you'll see that we have two folders nested in here. Now, what's really cool about this, this shows you, uh, hey, this is a directory, and these are your particular uh, permissions. We'll get more into that later. Uh, as well as, you know, your last write times, modify times. Um, any length, this is a real good indicator for um, uh, size of your file. And then um, what is nested here? Typically length is more for like text documents and whatever. But anyways, so we're gonna get in there. Uh, let's dig in a little bit more. Subfolder. And you may notice when I'm doing these commands that um, the PowerShell session is kind of getting more lengthy here. And you'll see it's sort of more C, kind of like a, a where we were. So this is referred to as an absolute path. Um, right above us here, this dot slash subfolder, that is something known as a relative path. Now, the relative path only works relative to the location that you are in. Uh, if you were to try to slap a command with the subfolder, the dot subfolder, outside of the C slash please subscribe directory, wouldn't work. Uh, and that's what's useful about this absolute path. You can use this anywhere in any of the sessions. As long as you have the full path, you can get to there. You can interact with it. Okay, so one more time, list this out. So inside the subfolder, we now have some things that we can manipulate. So we have our new text document and a few extra little ones I made up. Um, so for fun, we're going to type out, uh, this is just like opening the uh, Word document, but we're gonna do everything inside the shell today. So with that being said, we're gonna type out new. And then before I finish, I wanted to show you this really helpful feature. It's called tab complete. I'm saying this because a lot of people I work with don't utilize this. <laughs> so by hitting tab complete, pinky, slap that bad boy right there, hit tab, and just like that, auto populates it for you. This is particularly useful for obvious, you know, shorthanding, but also it helps you with any sort of grammatic errors that you can make. Uh, you always want to utilize tab complete. It makes your life a lot easier. I don't know why people don't use it. it drives me nuts. Um, so anyways, we have this right here. You'll also notice um, that in this particular instance, the uh, file that we're manipulating is blue and it has these little like single quotes. Um, and that is exclusively because we have spaces in our file. Um, if you didn't have spaces, wouldn't do that. So anyways, we're gonna hit fire and voila, we have some information inside there. It basically took whatever is in there and put it on our shell. Um, so this is particularly useful. Uh, dot text work really well for that. So now that we have this thing, we have uh, a file that we can manipulate. Let's do something with it. So we are in our thing here and we're going to move tack item. We have this dot, uh, do, have to do, that? do new, and we wanna bring it up a folder. So we're gonna go into our uh, C colon slash. We're gonna do please subscribe subfolder. Let's put that in subfolder two. And I'm just doing all of my tab completes. And just like that, we're gonna hit fire and <laughs> list it out. And it is no longer in our subfolder folder. Um, so we're gonna go up a directory. This is another little trick. So you can do CD and then C slash, please subscribe slash 
and then go there, list it out. Or you can hit CD dot dot or CD up. And uh, we do this because you know how you have the dot slash for your uh, relative path. We see right here, um, dot dot just goes up. <laughs> so we're gonna list this out. All right, now we have our two folders and you would have guessed it. Go into our subfolder two and list it out. And there is our text document. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, moved. Let's do some uh, copying. So uh, what's really cool about Microsoft is they are doing a, uh, a great service by removing a lot of this guesswork because of this verb noun uh, commandlets. Um, we moved an item, move tag item. We can copy an item the same way. So that right here. Now, it would be kind of daunting if we just did the exact same thing, we copied it back over. Um, so we could do copy item, and we can do that little uh, wildcard or splat dot txt. This is gonna take everything that is in this directory, right? And then we're gonna move it to the, just do C, please subscribe for us. We're gonna make it look really messy. So fire. And as you can guess, CD up, up, list it out, and everything is right there. Now, that's messy, right? We don't like how that looks. So we are going to remove items, right? You see where this is going? We're gonna do a little splat action. Oh my goodness, pants. Dot text, and just like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's really easy. Um, and I, I don't mean to discourage if you guys don't understand. Uh, it, it's just that whole Microsoft thinking ahead. They're saying, hey, this is what's really powerful about PowerShell um, is that they're trying to take the guesswork out. If you can utilize that get command that we used in the previous video, get tech command, do some wild cards on some uh, action that you want to do, most likely you can kind of guess the the verbiage here, how you want to do this. The vernacular is phenomenal here. Um, lastly, the only thing I want to talk about today is making directories. Uh, and it's, <laughs> it's as simple as doing mkdir, make directory. And then we are going to do, while we're here, let's just do a little sub folder three. And just like that, here we are, we have a third one. <laughs> so that's a little bit of like the, the 101s on file path directory. Um, the last one I wanna show you is a little bit more specialized. Um, it can be useful down the road, um, so let's just go up here and this one I like to do, and not a lot of folks use this one. This one is called push location. Push location does not have to be used at the top of your directory. It can be used anywhere. So push location, fire. Looks like we didn't do anything, right? Let's say we wanted to traverse down our paths here. We want to go into CD sub full, let's go into please subscribe sub folder and say we wanted to go back to the top right or, or not back to the top rather go back to where we dropped our push location this is where it's useful you can do pop location now what pop location will do is take you right back to that spot now yes you can just do cd c slash and takes you right to that same spot where this is useful is say for example you're working out of a particular directory um, you're visiting a, another machine, you're hitting this one spot constantly, but you wanna traverse around a little bit. This allows you to drop a little, uh, uh, like a little checkpoint and you're doing your stuff, you're traversing, going wherever you wanna go, you can hit this pop location and it takes you right back to where you dropped the push. I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> so anyways, that's for today, a little short one. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please consider liking and subscribing and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.